G'day, Andy from the Gourmet Hunters team here. Today we're going to give you a demonstration on how to fillet fish. To some people it might seem pretty simple, but a few basic things which uh, will give you beautiful, nice fillets, boneless fillets. We went out early this morning and shot this nice rock blackfish. Probably not the best shot on it, but we secured the fish anyway. So today I'll do a demonstration on how to gut and gill them, and also how to knock the fillets off if you don't want to gut and gill them. So basically I'll just run you through the knives that I like to use. Everyone has their own personal preferences, and these are mine. For knocking the fillet off, I like to use this sort of knife. It's short, you can manoeuvre it easily around the fillet, and it just doesn't get in the way. For taking the skin off a fillet, I like to use this sort of thing, with a little bit of flex. It's just nice and easy to run up the fillet and take the skin off. This one can be used to remove all the crud from the gut cavity, make the fish nice and clean. Often that can taint the fish if you're cooking the fish whole. And here we have the steels. This is a diamond steel. This uh, will actually sharpen and hone at the same time. And my preference is just the old normal type of steel, which I find I can get a sharper edge on my knives with. After spearing your fish and leaving the water, you should always ice your catch down as soon as possible. This not only firms the fillet and makes it easier to, to cut off the bone, but also preserves the flavour and the taste and freshness of the fish. We like to use a salt and fresh uh, freshwater ice slurry. This will become colder when you use the salt on the ice. As you can see, this fish looks in beautiful condition. It was shot this morning. See his eyes nice and black. He has a nice sheen to him and he's going to be beautiful eating. Righto, well first I'm going to show you how to gut and gill the fish. This is a pretty simple process. So we start at the anus here, and you stick your knife in there. You keep it close to the uh, edge of the skin, you're not going to burst too much gut and get it over your, your fillets. It's always a hard bit between the fins here. There we go. As you can see, the drum is a vegetarian. Probably what you have for breakfast. Stick your hand in there and pull it out. It all comes out fairly easily. See this fish actually is full of roe. And we'll feed that to the fish. It's also good to remove the gills because they contain a lot of blood. You want to get rid of them because it can taint the, the uh, taste of the fish. So you just cut in there, around the gills. Reach in and they should all come out like this. After this, you've often got blood up here on the bottom of the rib cage. You definitely want to remove that. So you just slice through the film of skin here. And then I use this small tuna knife, which is to remove that blood. And scrape that out like so. Beautiful. Now we'll just wash him down and then we'll get ready to fill it. Okay, you can see the gut cavity here is nice and clean. There's no gills left. All his organs have been removed. You could now just scale him with something like this or a scaler by running your, your blade up this way to knock the scales off. We're going to fill it this one because we're cooking it with coconut milk tonight. Okay, so now we're going to knock the fillet off. Cut in like this and along the back. Just running a knife along the bones that you can feel inside there. You peel that back. So we're not going to be wasting too much flesh here. You can start at the bottom and do the same.
I like to fill it over the rib cage. This involves just running your knife down and feeling out those ribs. Often there's bones which stick out like this and you might have to cut through them before you run over the ribs. You can just feel that out with your knife. See those ribs there starting to be exposed? Diagonal cutting like this. pretty much got your fillet. You can see there's not much meat left on the carcass here, so you are using as much as possible. So we've removed the fillet here. You've got lateral bones running on most fish down to the end of the rib cage. On some other fish they will go further down. Basically what we're going to do now is skin the fillet. So this is where your long filleting knife comes into it. Make sure everything's nice and clean. Hold it by the skin on the tail and just run your knife in at an angle so you can feel the skin. Basically pull it towards you and wiggle it and a good sharp knife will cut in. Like so. Got your skin removed here. The scale's still on. And I can either go to the dog of the fish. As you can see the skin's been removed from the fillet. Now we're going to cut the bones out. Right now we're going to remove the lateral bones. So you just place your knife close to the bone and run it along like so. You can split the whole fillet in half if it's a big fish just to make smaller portions like this. Otherwise, you just can cut the bones out and leave a V in your fillet. Righto, so that's the bone removed. And as you can see, we've got a beautiful fresh fillet of Australian fish. I'm just going to cut that into smaller portions. And there we have it. Ready for the table. For storing our fish, we like to use our snap lock bags like this one. It'll just keep the fish nice and fresh. If you're going to be storing for longer periods, you can use cryovac machine, which is a, a vacuum sealing machine, which will suck all the air out of that and will stop freezer burn and will enable your fish to stay fresh for longer when you thaw it out. Uh, alternatively, if you don't have one of those machines, you can use glad wrap. Just wrap it very tight and get as much air out as possible. Because if there's air in there, you'll get freezer burn on the fillets and it d definitely affects the taste. Righto, we're just about to knock the second fillet off. It's the same process, just a little bit back to front. Again, make sure your utensils are clean and your knives are sharp. A sharp knife, you'll always have less injuries than a blunt knife because you're not using as much pressure. As you can see, there's not much meat left on this fish whatsoever. The cat's going to go hungry tonight. Some people like to wash their fillets in water. Definitely don't do this in fresh water. This leaches the salt from the fillet and it'll leave it with a bland taste. Some people do do it with salt water. But I prefer just to get rid of the scales just by hand or with a sponge or the cloth or something like that. That'll ensure the salt stays in the fillet and it gives you maximum fresh seafood taste. So that's the basic filleting of a fish. It's, it's a basic technique. Some of the old timers have tips and techniques which make it a lot faster. But that one should get you through into your next filleting session. We'll see you next time for the next Gourmet Hunters episode.